What's going on, y'all? So, I've been trying to make this video for a little bit now. I haven't had a whole lot of luck, but I finally, finally did good. And we got, we actually got our PB snook to, uh, a couple of days ago. So, y'all get to see that, but I'm not gonna talk too much. So, let's get to the video. Snook on, baby. Came off. That was a snook for sure. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Would you look at that? Look at that storm. There's no way I'm making it back in time, so I'm gonna just pray that I can find cover somewhere over here before I get destroyed by that storm. Try to go up there somewhere. I think there's some cover up there. Hopefully. That doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie. That doesn't look too good. Like I probably should not be out here right now at all. Yep, I'm done. Holy hell. They can, they can go swim. They can go back in the water. <sighs> Kids, don't try this at home. So what I'm gonna do is walk up here and see if there's any, hopefully any cover. Anything, really would work because look at all those turtle eggs wow oh. really any cover would work at the moment because holy hell wow it looks like it does get a little covered up here so oh wow Yeah, so right now I'm sort of just in the trees, <laughs> hopefully going to get some cover from this storm because I can't lie, I wasn't really preparing for this to happen and it didn't say there's going to be any rain on the radar, it just said it was going to be windy, but I don't know if you can tell, it's not really just wind down here, so we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to hopefully get covered from a little bit at least just a little bit from the rain and then if it ends pretty quickly which it should hopefully then we'll get back out there and try to hopefully get on a fish again I'm trying to stay as dry as I can but it's not <laughs> working too well. My backpack is absolutely drenched. Camera's fogging up. You can't even see like anything out there because that's how much it's raining. But yeah. All right. So right now, little egg sinker. Got some leader, 40 pound leader, and then throwing a little croaker. We're gonna see. Hopefully, there's something out here that wants to eat this guy. Big old snook or jack. Ow! Coconut just rammed into me. Damn. That was crazy. Damn, that kind of hurt. <laughs> what the hell? Snook. Snook on. You just absolutely destroyed it. There we go, baby. Oh, that was like seconds on the drop, man. I just got smoked. Oh, 
<laughs> Absolutely destroyed it. I will take it, man. I think it's a snook. I hope it is. Ooh. That's a big fish. This might take a little bit to get it in. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that thing is pulling. Oh, man. Hell yeah. On the three inch NLBN. If I land, or if I don't land this fish, I think I'm gonna cry. I just hope he doesn't go anywhere near those rocks. He was going the right way. So, hope he still continues to go that way. That is a heavy fish, man. Oh, that's a heavy one. Not even on the live bait. I was just throwing the lure. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. That's a snook. Yep, I just saw him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. that's a nice one. Oh, man. That's a solid fish. My arms are sore now. Play him light, play him light. Very light tackle. Just throwing live bait on the other rod, hoping to, you know, get the snook on that one. Like a bigger one. But I guess they wanted artificial today. At least this one did. Haha, <laughs> that's stud. Oh yeah, yep, that's the one I was looking for. Not a monster, but I'd say he's a slot fish. Slot size snook. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a solid fish right there. Yeah, if only we would come a little bit closer, buddy. Come here. Oh, come on. Yep, got him. Oh yeah. Well, that's bigger than I thought. Oh, yes. Woo! Let's Yes. <laughs> Look at that line, he freighted up so bad. Oh man, that's a stud. Probably a 36, 37 inch fish right there. Oh my gosh. That just made my day. That thing is oh, 39 and a half. Oh man. What an absolute stud that is. Let's hook is out. Look at the size of this big girl, man. Woo! That is a stud. 39 and a half. That is a monster right there. Look at the size of this thing, man. Yes! New PB. Almost 40. So close. Alright. Wow. What a beautiful fish, man. Yes! That was crazy. Want to know what I was throwing? This is crazy. I was just throwing this really light tackle, not made for fish like that. Pen pursuit. You know, a really small setup. 20, 2500 reel. I got, I think, 20, probably 20 pound braid on here. And then 40 pound leader. And if y'all can see this, you see how much that fish freighted up. That is all like, I could probably just break this with my hand. But. Yeah, and then throw on the NLBN, little three inch right here. My white jig head. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. That just made my entire week. Because I, I, I don't catch snook that big very often. Actually ever. 
<laughs> one of the greatest feelings in the world when you get one of those big fish on light tackle especially so it's just such a hard fight and especially on a bait like this this is a three inch lure it's crazy how a fish that size will go down and eat something that small well see if we can make it happen again show how much bait's out there i just caught just caught a little greenback <laughs> accidentally snagged them going to the school and that's what those big snook are eating those greenies and then there's croakers out there too and i wouldn't doubt if they're also eating this little baby permit out there there's a whole bunch of those just a whole lot of bait out here Sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's a bite or the bait because there's just so much bait that you're that the lure keeps running right into them. I probably won't stay out here too much longer. Just because you know it's starting to get late and I already caught my my fish of the day, so I think it's gonna be hard to top that. Even though there are bigger ones out there, some 40 plus inches, it's not easy to top a fish like that, especially in the same day, in the same area. I think I'm gonna call it a day and head back. It's time. Oops. Almost broke my rod right there. I caught the fish that I wanted, so. Whoops. I think it's time that head back home and work on making this new video.